Hi there, it's Robin Norgren and I'm with Josie'sArtSchool.com. I have developed a, a business model in a box, basically, where you uh, uh, come to me and I teach you how to teach art classes to children. Um, and I offer uh, the program, uh, including all marketing material, all um, contracts, everything that you would need to start a business uh, teaching art classes to children, as well as 15 uh art lessons in three different um, art um, genres so that you could literally find one school and, and teach all three of those programs back to back or all at once. So welcome to my program. It is called the uh, Small Business Mastermind. And here I answer a, a question that is geared towards small businesses. And I hope that you appreciate the answer and that you can take it, whether you are in the Josie's Art School program or you're in any other business. I hope that is helpful to you. All right, so today's question is, how do you stand out in a crowd? What a great question. I am actually taping this here in Arizona. And because... Um, uh, we have sunshine all year round. Um, it is a big business to teach kids classes. And so um, it, it was very interesting when I first started out um, with this idea of teaching art classes to kids. What um, first prompted me to do it was out of passion to teach art. But I actually had started with teaching art to adults. And what I found when I was in the room with adults is that they are very uh, hesitant to um, be free and create. And after a few months of trying this and trial and error and feeling so much tension in the room, I was still working a full-time job as a tax assistant, I thought, yeah, this is not getting anywhere. <laughs> I'm not excited. Um, it, there was just a lot. I was. It, it was just surprising how it, how it was going. And so, uh, long story short, I remember one day in particular that I was packing up my art supplies and I thought, I am gonna go start teaching art to kids. That is literally what happened. And so I. Um, basically took um, the lessons that I had with adults and I I didn't even I mean I don't even want to say I dumbed it down because I really didn't I basically just if there were birds in the theme maybe I would have made them more whimsical but that's exactly what I did and I just started one lesson at a time building a five-week program and then I started pitching it to um, first community centers and then to my daughter's school and that is how it began. I take I take that back. What began what how it began first of all is I was teaching birthday parties. That's where I started and then from there I got some connections and then I moved on into the idea of going into schools and and the rest is history. Um, it really hit. Now here's here's where uh, the standing out in the crowd um, came into play. There are a ton of play centers and programs and and it's big business around here for parents to do like these over-the-top birthday parties and for some reason with art though though every time I'm in the presence of children it's like they can't get enough of art. This is one um, one facet of a child's life that I don't really think parents understand how important it is for kids to be able to create and what a value it is for teaching them how to problem solve and calm their minds and and be imaginative and be creative. I, I'm, I'm amazed at at that. And so it really was a barrier to entry when I would try to just simply pitch to parents. And so that's why I started going the other route of going to schools because while a lot of schools, at least in our area, have, have had to cut art programming, the um, administration in a lot of schools know the value of art, but it has to be put into an after school setting. And so that was my that was my in, so to speak. Now I had to stay within their budget. So so again, that was a relationship building thing where I had to agree the first session that I did at a lower price than maybe I would have wanted to um, to take. 
But in the long run, because I, I knew I was building relationship with a school rather than simply selling them a class and then moving on, it was very valuable to go in that way and to let them, A, see what the program was, see how the children respond to it, and then B, um, to, to have a leg to stand on to go, okay, well, this is actually my rate. Add that to the programs in our area that are the more nationwide mainstream programs, a lot of what they do um, don't um, stand up to what it is that I do because I bring a lot of diversity, whereas when you're a nationwide uh, chain, if you will, of, of art classes, you have to um, homogenize it because there's too many uh, um, differences in, in um in, in the styles of teachers that they hire and all that. And so I am just differentiating Josie's art school. The program is differentiated because um, you are bringing in something that is not simply markers or just drawing simple shapes. You're bringing a whole different dimension and introducing uh, children to a whole different side of art, um, specifically mixed media and that type of art, which is like huge. <laughs> So anyway, so that is how I've been able to differentiate Josie's Art School. And if you're interested in my program, Josie's Art School, feel free to stop by my website, www.josiesartschool.com, or you can also find me at www.childrenneedart.com. Dot com. All right. Thank you so much for coming by. If you have a question you'd like me to answer, make sure and put it in the comments down in the YouTube section. And also, please make sure and subscribe if you'd like to make sure you get my question every single week. Thanks so much. My name is Robin Norgren, and I'm so glad that you dropped by.